People are demanding money online. This is from relationships. The first thing I want to say, you have to set ground rules early on, uh, especially with places like the Philippines or whatever. They automatically assume that you've got money to borrow. And so that's the first thing. Second thing is you need to recognize it's not their money. It's your money. And that's something a lot of people forget. And I've been in conversation with someone the last couple of days, and I know he's been talking about his uh, partner's relatives being quite poor, et cetera, et cetera. But guess what? It's not your problem. As soon as you start giving something, it expands out. If you understand this from a Philippine point of view, in the Philippines, most people will limit what they give to other people as well because they know it becomes an entire abyss of money. It just keeps pouring in and disappearing. Um, people just live off you. Um, the word is ATM, automatic teller machine, cash machine. Um, so when you get something where people are asking you for money, just tell them to get lost. Do not get into the scenario of lending or anything like that. You don't need to. I mean, I've done it a couple of times myself, you know, and at the end of the day, um, I wrote the money off, but at the same time, I then used it to say, you know what, I lent X, X, Y, Z some money, never got it back, I don't lend money anymore. Because instantly, it's now not my fault for not lending them, but it's that other person's fault, which is often in the Philippine logic. It's being able to blame somebody for it. And if you can deflect it on somebody else, it's great news. Because uh, they'll go moan at them about it. Um, but the first thing on this I want to talk about is if you already have a relationship and you have a fixed amount going every month, understand how much they actually physically need because you're probably sending three times or two, two times what they would earn if they had a job. Um, now, if they're staying at home, there is no commuting charges. There is no... Um, working away food charges etc etc they actually have the money in their hand sitting on their backside at home so do not assume that you have to oh the dog's sick or whatever so what the dog that's not my dog um the other side of this being is there is more than one person normally philippine families are normally five plus you know in the sense that there may be the parents and then at least three or four siblings till 11, you know. So the point being is there's enough family members to make ends meet and deal with most issues. It's often easier to go and ask you because you're very likely to have the cash liquid where they don't. Um, but once they realize you paid it last time, every time there's a problem, who are they going to come knocking at? So bear that in mind. So when you get people ask you for money, firstly, if anybody asks you money that is not your partner, don't give them money. And just, you don't have to make an even strong excuse. You just say, well, you know, even if you just said I lent money out last time, never got it back. I'm not lending anybody any money. That That's enough to get rid of most people. But if somebody actually asks you directly, then they have no respect for you whatsoever. None whatsoever. A lot will use your partner, they will manipulate, they will go around your back and talk and persuade your partner to do it for them. They will do it in ways where it may not even have a real need in the sense they just think you can get money out of you. Um, they will come up with a child sick or whatever. This excuses are normally easy ones to see straight through. Um, but the point being is they will try and use your partner. One of the things I always recommend is actually saying, look, if anybody wants to lend money, they need to speak to me, not to you. You know, to my wife, I says, because just tell them that I will not lend anybody any money um, that doesn't speak to me direct. That gets rid of 99% of the people. The other bit will actually come up to you, and if they're asking you direct, they've probably got no no respect, especially if it's just like, oh, can I borrow 5,000 pesos and try and laugh it off or something? Um, that's no respect. The other side of it being is somebody may actually have something viable and valuable 
you know, in the sense of having a small business idea, but what have they done before? You know, um, there's some things I'm investing in myself in the Philippines, but at the same time, the people doing it, I trust them. And I know they'll pay it back, and I know there's a return on investment for it as well. So the point being is, it's a lion's den, you know, uh, Dragon's Den, sorry, the TV show. Somebody's, they can pitch you a business idea. Can they do it or not? I don't recommend getting investing heavily in anything whatsoever, um, mainly because the return on investment time is normally not that great. I mean, for myself, I have spare money in the Philippines anyway, so it's, it's a bit like Monopoly money for me sometimes. I just spend it. Um, if it works, it works. I don't care. Um, but it's nice when it does work. But I do recommend if you're getting problems with your partner asking you for money and you know all their bills are paid, there is no reason for them to be asking you for money. Dig deeper. Ask what it's about. Why do you need money? Know what it was about. Get the full story as well because you'll find there'll be uncle this and that, blah, blah, blah. Know it all down. Because then, a couple of months later, oh look, it's happened again. Well, I asked the question. I said, well, what happened to the money last time? And then they might go, oh, that was for something else. And this is the sort of thing. You're looking for these little threads to tell you they're lying through their teeth. Um, and I know this sounds quite severe to go through this with people, but if you do it, you're saving yourself getting into any of these pitfalls. And you're also protecting yourself from these things happening because people know you're not an easy pushover and they go, oh look, somebody's sick. You know, you know, you just go, oh, how bad, too bad. You know, how bad, too sad, you know. And walk past it. It's not your problem. You're not there to solve everybody's problems. I know myself, I donate money. There was a bus crash recently in England, nearly I donated some money towards. But then I started getting hit with every other request after that when I just started ignoring them all. Because at the end of the day, I don't mind helping a bit, but I am not the social services of the Philippines. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching.